Have you ever played Rust and like everything just feels like it's going your way, right? You log in and you just know there's something in the air. And that was this wipe for me. This is like the, the luckiest wipe I've ever had. I loaded in and from the moment I loaded in, I can trace it back to exact moments where everything just went my way and all led to me just becoming ridiculously rich as a solo player on this really big server. So please sit back. Relax and enjoy me being the luckiest solo player alive. So this all actually began kind of as accident. Like I loaded into this server because I was on a, a call with one of my friends. We were just talking about something that we wanted to do, like coming up. So I thought I'd just load onto a server and just run around for a bit. So that'd be really, yeah, that'd be even funnier. You're right, like, because then you two could play off each other and you'd both be like, I don't know what the f. So I'll spare you the details of me talking here, but essentially I was running around and just ran into this decayed or decaying base when I jumped on the roof here and spotted a body bag. I wanted to jump in, but I didn't think I had a way out. So I went over and planted myself a little sleeping bag. <laughs> Once I placed the bag, I ran back and I jumped in to discover a bunch of stuff. Sadly, there was no ammo for this M39, but things were looking good. And while still on a call with my friend, I didn't really have a way out. So after a bunch of jumping around and deciding that I couldn't get out, I then realized I had in my possession now from that body bag, a building plan and a little bit of wood. And with any luck, I might be able to build myself out. And because this is my luckiest run ever, I of course was able to build a little triangle rooftop there and jump my way out. And then I decided to scout the base a little bit more and see if it was decaying anymore, on which I decided it was, but it is going to take a long time for it to decay, so better for me to just remember that this is here and head off into the wilderness to get up into any other shenanigans. And once again, because this is my luckiest run ever, it really did not take me very long to find some. <laughs> gonna stash all this loot and uh, keep going. I decided my best course of action now was to hit the roads, get some comps, do some recycling, try and get a bit of low grade, and maybe go north on one of the overground trains because I decided I wanted to try and build in the snow. But whilst doing all of this, I ran into something that would just redefine my future on this server. So I'm just cooking up um, some Yoka pistols here, at least that's the plan, because I've spotted a base a big decaying base, and I'm pretty sure I've seen some movement there. So I'm hoping I can get a nice clean one tapioca and take any, if any, loot off this dude from this base and uh, make haste to the snow. Alright, there it is. Like, I, I, you can see that the, the um, electric furnaces are on, which means, like, I don't think this is fully looted. I think this is just decayed very recently. Um, and like I said, I'm pretty sure I saw a dude running around in there, so I'm gonna try and bop him with some yoga pistols here. Yeah, I think I just saw him. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's got loot, baby. That sounds like a semi-pistol. I'm gonna have to just creep up here and uh, see if I can take him out. I don't think he's very aware. Or he's just preoccupied with loot, which I'm really hoping he is. Still no movement, that's good. That's the guy he killed. He's on grass. Oh, he's right here. Oh! <laughs> oh! He's loaded! I got the one tap yoka, baby! Holy moly! I need to go. Give me those meds. Oh, we got it! <laughs> Plan went perfectly. Oh, looks like there might not be much else in here. No backpack there, which is kind of poop. I'm going to grab what I can. I've got some um, low grade. Oh, there's another one. What? He's just logged off. 
Is this his friend? Okay, buddy. I don't really need that sulfur, yeah. Like I said, I really wanted to get myself into the snow for this one. So I hopped on a train and I headed that way. But again, this is my luckiest run ever. And what I found there, <laughs> well, just watch. This video is sponsored by Rustly, one of the fastest growing Rust websites with a lot of games to play. Many deposit methods, instant withdrawals, with a store full of skins and even crypto withdrawals. You can claim five free cases by using my code keyword or clicking the link in the video description. And you can play case battles against real players or bots and win really cool skins. Or you can just open individual cases. They also have other cool games, as you can see on screen, like Crash, Roulette on Mines, and the site is loaded with a load of bonuses and rewards, like unlocking data cases for free, thanks to your level. And all the withdrawals are instant, so if you see a skin that you like, and you've got the balance to do so, you can withdraw that directly to your Steam inventory, just like I did here. So use my code Keyworth for those five free cases, check the link down in the description, and thank you so much, enjoy the video. That was like an air jolt to me, ladies and gents. It is? What the fuck? <laughs> this is... Oh. That's what this is. Well, it's too good to be true. And it was. Alright, I trolled you with that one. I thought I deserved to do it to you because I had it done to me just there with that air drop. But, that isn't the only thing I found in the snow. And you're literally staring right at it right now. Looks like he lives right there. And the recycler's on. Oh! There's a dude! What? Is he AFK? He is. Get out of here, dude! That was a pumpy. Oh my god. What, what is this run, dude? Gimme, give gimme give all the good stuff. I'm just gonna make an Arctic suit real quick. What's in here? Oh! Okay, dude, I'm gone. <laughs> Bro, what is this server? Get back on me train. I'm freaking loaded right now, dude. I wonder if his friend even knows. That guy, <laughs> that guy was AFK. Back on my train and even richer than the last time, I decided I was going to head back towards where I found that, that decaying base earlier where I'd killed the dude. Because I figured there might still be something in there to take. I don't know why, I just had a sneaky suspicion. Mostly because you could see that the electric furnaces were on. So that's where I headed back to. And when I was there, I found a lovely little base to take over. Perfect indeed. I slapped down myself a little door and a barrel that I had and stored away all my lovely loot. I had a bunch of good, high quality loot here, things that would take a normal player quite a while to get their hands on, but what I didn't have were the absolute basics like wood and stone, raw materials in which to build and maintain a base. So that is what I did next. I got a bunch of wood and stone. I then put those materials to good use and made my base not just a one door deepable situation by adding myself a lovely little airlock. Nice and cozy. Alright, we have a base. We have, you know, this stuff. Things are looking good. In the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> Let's get it. I'm gonna head back to uh, the base that I saw. I can do this. I want to try and yoink the electric furnaces. Because it would be huge for me. I have nothing on this server. So getting things like that just for free would totally change uh, my wipe, which would be lovely. They're still there. Oh, 
What I need to do is get TC access. Might be easier said than done though. I think there's going to be some serious loot in here. I can actually get up there though. Dude's playing Pong with trains. <laughs> what the hell? Now it's been about 10 minutes since something really lucky happened on this run, and I think we're about due. Just in time, I decided to make my way up towards the top of this base to see if there was anything anyone had missed. Seems like everything has been taken, but what is this little hole we have ourselves here? in here. Oh my god! Let me out! Let me out! Oh. Shit! That's not good. Well, it kind of is and it kind of isn't. That's good info, but that's really bad. Okay, so I just need to figure out a way to cut the power. I've lost my pump, though. I don't think I'll be getting that back. Which is a shame, but I did see a tier 3 in there and a bunch of stuff, so... Thinking maybe just maybe I might be able to get a load of crap out of this. I just need to find whatever is giving this power. Now I don't know how, but Rust has this way of dangling something super sweet in front of you and then doing all it can to take it out of your hands. <laughs> You'll know what I mean. Oh, of course, there are now people here. Why wouldn't there be? Thank you, Rust. Screw you. <laughs> Oh, this loot's gonna go! I need to get my pump! Come on. Okay, got machete at least. I'm gonna have to kill him. He's trying to do that jump. It's kind of difficult. Come on, baby. Is there two of them? There might be two of them. Oh. Come on, baby! Let me kill you! Did he die? No. Hmm. There's the battery. All I need to do is destroy the battery and I'm in. Hello. I'm sorry to tell you, buddy, that there's no loot in here. I've looked. <laughs> Although it looks enticing. Have a nice day. There was someone else in there, I swear. Let me back up. Please. What? I can't. That thing will get me. No, there's nothing in there. There's nothing. Oh. Oh, he's dead now. Oh, well. I'll see you later, buddy. So, in an absolutely incredible stroke of luck, the one thing that would get me into this base and what I had assumed would be incredible loot was the battery if I could destroy it if it was open. And it was, I'm still right on top of it right now, but as you can see, and I'm bashing it. So what I was doing with those guys was trying to make them disinterested in the base so they could leave rather than killing them because then they'd want to come back and kill me so I could destroy this battery in peace and get all of the juicy loot. I started to work as they were gone, but I had killed them, so I kept my eyes open to see if they ever came back. And remember that thing I told you about rust dangling and taking it away, or at least trying to take it away? Yeah, well, it... It does it again. No, I got it. Oh my god, I got it. Okay. Perfect. We go home. We make machetes. Make machetes I did, and I went back. For some reason, I couldn't see the health of this battery go down as I was hitting it, but I kept checking the console commands. And once I was nearly done, I was on about 4 oh, HP. Bro. That stupid Rust Karma came back around to get me.
Why do you go and do that? Alright, this is like... Uh, I think I'm on like 6 HP or something. Okay, great. There's someone here. Fuck off! There's no way, dude! I'm like 4 HP away, like 8 hits away from being in. Of course there's someone here. That's classic Rust. Where is he? Oh! <laughs> Die! Why are you dead? Why is he not dead? Why am I not dead? Jeez. Oh my god, don't die. Ooh. Bloody hell, this is not good. Why does this always happen with Rust, man? <sighs> I'm gonna have to heal and uh, face him again. See if I can kill him and then quickly get in. Fuck. It's that fucking guy again, man. That's right, the dude that asked me to pick him up when he was down right in front of that flame trap, he was back and he was here with weapons. He knew what I knew, that there was probably an absolute motherload gold mine of loot that was just ready for the taking. And the only thing that stood between you and it was about 4 HP on a battery. I just need to hope and pray that he did not find the way in and figure it out like I had. I just know, he'll figure out why I'm hitting. Uh, it's crazy. It's like the Rust Laws. He was 5 HP, bro. He's coming back. Please, just get up. Make the jump, Ben. Oh my god. Fuck off. Just fuck off. He's killing me. He wasn't here. Now was my time. It was now or never. I need to get this battery destroyed and get in here and secure all this loot before this guy comes back and takes it all from me. Alright, it's like one HP. Yes! I heard the, uh, I heard the turret power down. We're in. We're in. God, I hope this has loot. All right, here we go. Shotgun trap. There's probably one below me as well. Ah! I'm in. Oh! No, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I'm cooked. Oh, fuck, man. Twenty-six percent. Twenty-six percent chance face punch. My life is in your hands. I didn't get up. No. This was a disaster. Not only was I dead in there with pretty much my best gear set, I didn't know if I could get back in. I didn't know if I could sneak past those shotgun traps. And, almost certainly, the noise from those shotgun traps is going to bring back over that Kia guy, the one with the pistol, and I'm probably going to lose all of this probable loot into nothingness. He's here. Come on, man. I'm just the guy. Shit! This is really fucking bad. This is so typical of Russ, man. You're on the fucking edge of getting everything you could need, and someone shows up right at the last fucking second. It's like, it's like they get a notification on their screen. It's like, hey, Keyword, Keyword's about to get all this loot. Um, it's right here at this exact place. Better go quick. <sighs> Now, I was pretty down in the dumps, as you could hear. I decided to run back and give this one last shot. I had nothing to defend myself with, and this guy had my P2s and my pump. This was poopy. So, I needed to figure out a way to get him away from this base, so I could sneak back in and take all of this loot. I had a nail gun and one last chance. It was now or never. It's do or die. Time to save the luckiest run ever. What the fuck, man? 
Why is he hiding in there, bro? Then it dawned on me. I tried all possible ways, except just talking to the guy. Come on, man. I just started. You ain't gonna keep killing me. What I gotta do to be friends? You kept killing me first, man. What? I killed you once, bro. And I'm naked. Once, bro. I was yeah. killing another naked. I was That's naked just how too. It goes. Yeah, naked kill nakeds, but come on. We could be friends. Oh. Well, that's all right. I apologize that's my bad. too. Here, take your nail gun. Oh, thank take you. your spear. Take your nails. Oh, thanks, bro. And let's try to let's put the loot if we get in here. Yeah. Okay. I, I just don't think there's a way in. Yeah. Okay. Although, actually, do you have um? What were, a you, what were you hitting at? Oh, uh, uh, one of the uh, electric what furnaces. Were you? I'm just. I'm trying my best to get this guy away from this fucking base because he was like. If he investigates any further, he's gonna get it. But my best bet, I think, is to just throw him off with this. Get back in there, try and get past the things, and hope that I can get my gun back. I don't want to. I'm only doing all of this because I just don't want to split the loot. <laughs> I don't want to split the loot with him. All right, that's it. So after simply talking to him, I found out that this guy was actually really lovely. And to try and get him away from the base, I said I'd give him 75 scrap so he could learn flashlight. So then that would give me at least 10 to 15 minutes of him going back to base and learning stuff and coming back in the morning for me to try and get back in, get my stuff, and hopefully get out with all of the loot. One thing I have is scrap. Well, not much, like 200. Yeah. You let me know in an hour, then I will, uh, I'll, I'll have that research and I'll craft you one. Alright, bro. Sweet. Thank you. I'm just going to run this way to try and find cloth because I am down bad on cloth. So with that guy taken care of for at least an hour, like he said, I headed back to the base to try and get in, at least get all my stuff back, and hopefully make it out with all the loot. All I had to do now was dodge those pesky shotgun traps. That's one. Is there loot? Oh, this, this, this is going to be loaded. Oh, no. Oh, I need to be quick. Oh my... I don't have meds and I'm really low on health. I don't think I can make it past the shotgun trap or bait it. I'm gonna have to shoot it. Not bad TC. Oh my god, cops. Sofa! Holy fucking loot, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, I need to focus up. I need to see all this. Okay. Sealed for now. That is a lot of guns, oh my god, okay. Let's throw out the crap, keep the good. And then, I mean, there's no stone in here whatsoever. But there's a lot of good shit. Uh, okay. I need to... He's back. Fuck, I'm in a box. Now, after winning and securing all this loot, I felt awesome, bad. That weird guy came back, so I decided to actually split the loot with him. Well, more 60-40 than... 50-50, but you get the no. idea. I decided to no, endow just, him with some of the that spoils that I got too. Just like I felt I should. Rust had given me some good karma. I needed to perpetuate that and do some good things to keep it going. Now, I wanted to build up my base because a 2 by one with all this loot is ridiculous. But as I decided to set out to do that, I heard rockets. It sounded like it was right here. It is in fact right here. God damn, I smashed that. Turret, camper van, AK.
Frankfurt. What? M249. Is that real life? I geared up and head straight back. But remember, this is my luckiest run ever. Things will not always happen the way you think. Whilst there and deciding that I was decidedly overpowered and this situation had pretty much resolved itself and they had sealed, I thought I was out of luck and I wasn't going to get anything out of this room. But then, I heard distant explosions. Now all I had to do was make it to this new raid in time before they sealed. Of course the attack heli is right over this raid. Whilst they're blowing in and I need my gun out. So typical. This this is the most lucky, like, un... What's the word? Just low percentage things are happening right now. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Space is so weird. That might work in my favour though. Confusion. I think they're on the roof. I don't think that guy was with them. He was shooting at them. He was a counter like me. Crap. <clears throat> That's bad. Oh my god, why does no one have meds? Uh, I think that might be it. I think that might be everyone. Space, I think, is poor as hell, so I'm not going to even stick around. I'm just going to take the stuff that I've got, and I'm leaving. Nice amount of guns. I felt like there was more somewhere. I've definitely missed a gun or something. Somewhere. With the run going as good as it is, I didn't want anything to slow it down, and having a 2 by one base with all this loot in definitely is a roadblock for that. So, it's high time that I got to farming, and I got the building, which is exactly what I did. I took my jackhammer out to my local area, I farmed up all the nodes I possibly could, and when I came back, I speed built myself a lovely little base. And then, I got to working on some electronics so I could get a nice little auto smelter down to smell all of the ore that I had then just farmed. Then after that, with the tier 3 that I had salvaged from the decaying base at the beginning, 
morning, and with all of my loot in ample storage, I decided to cook up myself some explosive ammo and head back to the counter raid that I was at earlier to see if they hadn't finished off that last door, and if they hadn't, do it myself. Alright, I'm back. I don't hear them in here. But, uh... I also haven't heard any explosions, so I'm hoping they haven't done the last door and I can just melt my way through it. Let's see. Oh, hello. What the frick? What's this guy doing? I don't know if that was one of them. I don't remember. Fuck, I stole my horse! Asshole! Well, apart from charcoal here, this guy was pretty much dirt poor and I got absolutely nothing. But when I went home, I was having a good feeling about going on a roam. I can't quite place it and I can't quite explain it. But something inside me was just telling me to roam a certain way. And well, this is my luckiest run on Rust ever. So if you think this roam was anything less than spectacular, well, just watch. Alright, this is going to make no sense to people that, like, I guess don't play Rust. <laughs> um, but I am just, I just have a feeling that I should just go this way, you know? I also think I saw someone here, but I uh, guess I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to go this way. And I'm pretty sure something good will happen. Now, up to this point, like I'm sure you have already whilst watching this video, I had completely forgotten about the very place that I started this run. If you cast your minds way back or 31 or 32 minutes ago, you'll remember that when I spawned in and I was on Discord call with my friend, that I ran over to a base. A base that had since decayed and was open to a bit of all empty boxes, but the dude on him had some guns. And I remember thinking to myself that I should keep it in mind because maybe it would be a good place to return back to. And this being my luckiest run ever, I could apparently forget that and Rust would just bring me back there anyway because where I'm running right now is exactly there. I had accidentally, inadvertently, and not on purpose, oh no. ran all the way back to that base. And this is what I found there. Holy fuck, it's all open. <gasps> Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> I need a backpack. Fuck me. What? Bruh. Bruh. Holy shit. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Went down. Oh my god, there's more levels. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, dude. Okay. This is silly. Yup. 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 Look at- oh my god, dude. Holy shit. What do I do? I have to seal it. I have to seal. I have to seal. He sees probably behind there. Oh fuck, can I even build? Oh my god, I can't build. Stop, stop, stop. Bro, what are the chances? This is like the very first place I was on this server. It's wild. This was an incredible turn of fate. 
but I wasn't really very close to my base, not close enough that I could run it all on foot at least, so I decided to make myself a 2 by one right next to it, place down a bunch of boxes, and at least seal off this loot as best I could, and then transfer it all back to my base. Fucking hell. There's so much in here, bro. This was an amazing come up. This was honestly incredible. I, I could not have asked for anything more from this run. And yet, there is more to come. Once I had sorted all the best loot, got it all out, put it in the barrels in my 2x1, I then decided to run all of the loot home and leave a little bit in my 2x1 just in case I needed it or just in case I got raided prematurely and I still wanted to play. I then used this massive bump in resources to finally finish off my base and add the roof. And then I decided once again it was time to put all of this ill-gotten gains to great use and just go roaming in search of fights. And it did not take me very far from my base to find one. See, amongst all of this, I had joined a team with Kier, the dude who I had made friends with at the decaying base whom I was previously fighting with. And by an absolute accident, I ended up entangled with him in quite a large affair. And I'm dead. Very cool. That was a good roam. With that roam in the bin, I headed over to a raid that was very close to my base in an unsuspecting, a surprising, at least to me at the time, location. Meds. Fuck. Of these idiots. I'm gone. Watch that back and figure out where they live. I'd like to raid them. Don't want them to know where I live just yet. Although, I wouldn't mind it. No, dude! Oh, man. Name cone.
Alright, let's blow in here and see what they've got. Or, well, the people that they're raiding have got. Thank God that hit. Oh my God. Bitches. Oh yeah, I didn't even know you were out there, man. Wait. Is that you? It's you! Yeah, man, it just <laughs> raided me. They teased oh, me. Shit. me. I didn't <laughs> Sorry, bro. Yeah, I mean, I've just helped, I guess. Boxes down. No. But, uh, put a, put, shit, dude, sorry. Thanks. Put a door down. Put a door down. I didn't even know it was you, dude. They me. I got stuff for you. I got stuff. In fact, hold on. I brought a door with me. They, they put the, they, they open, TC open up, griefed me. I can't, I can't build. Open the door. Is it upstairs? In the metal right there. They sealed it. They oh. sealed it. Uh, well, have you got a backpack? Get what you can and let's go. I got most of my stuff. They didn't take everything. So I still got a, I have an inventory of stuff. And then I have a box behind you. Here, uh, let me type code in a chat. Here, then I have a box up there. Oh, okay, fuck. Uh, <laughs> All right, let me uh, let me go secure outside. I'm just gonna. I, have a, I had a lot here outside. Yeah. Nope, I guess not. Uh, I'm gonna grab my shit. No, they are. Oh fuck me. Who's got an AK now? So I hadn't realized, but all this time I was accidentally counter raiding and defending a raid from my friend Kia, who I had met at the very beginning of this run at that base, who I'm pretty sure I killed without Yoko, but I actually have to check. So just in an incredible turn of fate, I accidentally helped my friend here, which was great, and I was slowly racking up guns. All I had to do now was clear up the last of them outside, and we could hopefully make a break for it with all his loot and build him a new base. Bro, did they really just build him in? Bro, did they just build you in? What a fucking loser. Oh no, he didn't. Yes, they did. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta try to get the. Oh, fuck. I gotta try to destroy Can you get PC out? I've just got now. a full kit. Come outside. No, I just got AKs. I, I'm, I'm completely sealed in right now. Yeah, I'm completely oh, sealed in. You can get myself uh, out. That's not a problem. It's just like uh, I have a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna run home real quick, and then I'll be back. Yeah. Now I'd had amazing luck up to this point. This was honestly one of the luckiest wipes I've ever had, if not the luckiest wipe I've ever had in Rust. But things cannot always go perfectly, and right here is the exact moment things started to change. Because as a surprise to me at this exact moment in real life, I had to then leave for one hour. And when I came back, sadly my friend had lost all the loot that was inside that base, including the stuff that was in his inventory. He was now dead broke. And I had my eyes on a little raid because there was a dude really base. close to me who was online, who was a simple 2C4 yeah, raid that I could same. do. So I wanted to go check it out and give him a little online raid. Alright, let's go raid this dude. I don't think he's in. I think he's over there.
Christ, he's poor, isn't he? He must have lost his kit. Oh no, that was poor. Well, that is what it is then. That's 2C4 wasted. Now, there's a reason that I just did that. It was coming really close to the end of my availability to play on the server, and the server was getting lower pop day by day, as this was a monthly server. So I didn't just do this on a whim, I wanted to online someone, I couldn't really find anyone nearby, and I wanted to see if that guy was rich and I could continue my streak. I this is still the luckiest run I've ever had in my life. But, that said, so, this is still uh, the luckiest lucky run I've ever had in my life, and this still <laughs> has a very poetic ending. You see, the next morning when I logged on, I logged on to notice that my base was in fact decaying. And with all my doors open, and access to my loop, nearly in sight for those would-be grubs. The very last thing that happened to me was one of the very first things that got me all of my loot. Yes, while well, geared, I had died to a shotgun, and whilst I used an Eoka, I saw this as incredibly poetic because I had given what this server had given to me to someone else. Accidentally, albeit, but a massive come up for this guy and a 360 circle for the life cycle of Rust. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. It was an absolute pleasure. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If not a dislike, I'll catch you next week for a new video. Take it easy. Peace. <laughs>